Howdy, we are here to talk about uh, my latest tool haul from the Harbor Freight. And um, let's get into it. Uh, it's also the weekend of the parking lot sale, but we're going to go through the ad. Hopefully we're going to go through the ad in another video, and I want to get that posted. Probably this video is going to come out after that one. Hopefully. So we'll just get into this. So, um, 12 volt, 150 psi, portable inflator. Now, it's like the guy at the counter told me. It's got a tag on it that says, uh, do not inflate vehicle tires. I can't figure out why. I mean, it's 150 PSI. Uh, does that mean that it really is not 150 PSI? Um, <laughs> or the pump just cannot handle that kind of a duty cycle? What, what, what's going on? But for seven bucks, we're gonna try it out. If it keels over, we're gonna talk about it, okay? Uh, so, I had to pick that up. And since we're on the house, mom's been doing woodworking projects, so I had to pick up some of that. Plus, the thousand and the twelve hundred grit, those are great for sharpening knives. You can start with the 500 if it's a real bad one, but you know, you get out the, your whetstone, you go down to 600 grit, and then you finish it off. If you really want that real fine edge, you can do it with the 1000 and the 1200 grit. So, and I, I've done that many times, so the good stuff. I got a quarter inch drive E socket set, or as they sh are also called external torques. Um, now, some of you are wa wondering why the heck would you even want long drive uh, when you want just standard shorties work just fine. And in about 80% mm, of the cases, uh, yeah, it will. You know, you're not going to need this, typically. But, if you're working on electronics that have these, a uh, perfect example is the Nintendo stuff. The Nintendo stuff has these bloody e torques I mean, this is a Super Nintendo from, what, 97, 91. So, uh, and I mean, if Nintendo's doing it now, they're probably doing it now so uh, just keep that in mind that uh, hey uh, e-torques are nice to have around anyway so those in the drawer I know this isn't the fancy Klein or Nipex or the whatever uh, fancy brand that you like, um, the Irwins, but I'm going to try these uh, heavy duty automatic wire strippers. If anybody's got any use with these, uh, had any real world testing, please put it down in the comments. I thought, well, for 10 bucks, we'll try it out. If it doesn't work, well, I'll go cry again and I'll go buy the other Irwin branded ones for 20 bucks. You know, I, I look at it like that. So, uh, it, it, it's the automatic wire stripper. We do get wire crimpers and a standard wire cutter. So, it's not just for stripping wires, it's also for crimping and cutting wires. So, 
and then the Gorilla Tape. The Gorilla Tape uh, it's self-explanatory, I think. Uh, <laughs> but uh, you know, they do. So Harbor Freight does sell um, other brands other than their own brands. So uh, you know. And they do typically, uh, on those brands, they do typically sell them at a cheaper price than other stores do. Not always, but, you know, they, they try and stay competitive with everybody else. You know, the Home Depots, the Lowe's, the Walmarts. So, keep that in mind that, you know, if you are there... Uh, and you need duct tape. Uh, they they do have high end duct tape there, so you don't have to waste uh, your precious gas money to go to another store and buy it somewhere else. Especially with fuel prices on the rise these days. So, ah, uh, the big one that I bought is over here and that is the one at the parking lot sale. Uh, now, no, this is not an open boxed item, uh, but we opened the box before I bought it because I needed to know, do I have to buy sanding pads no you don't need to buy sanding pads so it does come with a fence probably the worst fence in the world but eh, what do you expect uh, instructions so the platen which it might work, but and the piece that is this point. Come on. You pulled out real nice for the man and I at the Harbor Freight. So uh there it is, folks. Uh plastic. Uh, this thing is actually fairly lightweight, and uh, I don't know if you can see, probably not, but uh, the belt is pre-installed, so you don't have to go around monkeying with that, hopefully, so uh, we'll probably do a setup video here, and uh, what do we got here? Guard looks like a guard. Must be a guard. Table. Yeah. Okay. But so uh, that's the things that I've bought this time around at the Harbor Freight. Uh, and like I said, parking lot sale. That's actually where I got that. That I got for 60 bucks at the parking lot sale. So, uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, hopefully, it goes well. I haven't bought woodworking tools in decades, it seems like. Because my grandfather, Master Carpenter, so when he died actually I'll, my dad got most his tool weighing and when my father eh, well let's just say I inherited a lot so uh thanks for watching um hope you went to the parking lot sale and we'll see you in the next video please comment rate subscribe